Yeah. What was it last time we were talking? It was a Glock 26. You know, for my first gun that I wanted to conceal, I wanted something a, a little less bulky. Mm -hmm. Kind of wanted to be extra comfortable and feeling like I didn't really know it was there. So mm. I decided to get rid of that and go try out some other ones. Concealment became the primary concern for you. Yeah. And so you moved on to what? I moved on to... So that steel plate out there is probably 100 yards, maybe 90 yards away. And uh, my little brother D here does not believe that I'm going to be able to hit that later on with my Savage Mark II. That's like 140 yards away. It is not 140 yards away. Late Boy Scout and D here giving you guys an update on D and his, uh, we could call this a druggy to gunny update, talking about what your concealed carry currently is because it has changed. What was it last time we were talking? It was a Glock 26. Glock 26 was your gun. There you are. 9 you decided... millimeter. I, I liked it. I liked shooting it a lot. I felt, you know, for my first gun that I wanted to conceal, I wanted something a, a little less bulky. Mm -hmm. Not that that was bulky to most everybody else. Right. But just the first time, I kind of wanted to be extra comfortable and feeling like I didn't really know it was there. So mm. I decided to get rid of that and go try out some other ones. Concealment became the primary concern for you. Yeah. And so you moved on to what? I moved on to, this is a Sig Sauer P238. Wow. Night sights, glow in the dark. Actually, that's the, these are not the night sights. Well, is Sorry, it's got sight? this one. Yeah, yeah, these glow. Those glow. Those glow at night? Yeah. Okay, so that mm -hmm. is the night sight, and the front one is the fiber optic, fiber yeah. optic sight, the green fiber optic sight. Yep. Cool. So that's your updated gun. Mm -hmm. And what are you carrying it in? I'm carrying it in this Real cool Remora case that my uh, brother got for me. Well, it's awesome. I mean, it, it grips really nicely to my to my hip or anywhere uh -huh. else. Uh -huh. Like right now, I'm wearing just these basketball shorts, okay? Okay. And that's when I was sold on this case. Because a lot of times I like to just go out really comfortable, really, you know, relax. Maybe just if I'm just going around to the store or something like that and it grips really easily to it like mm. it's not there's no movement it's just stuck there it just stays yeah there. it just holds right there. there's no straps no nothing that that uh that clip on or anything it's mm. just it's just like that it's, it's so it's really grippy and it's if i it's and it holds on too so if i mm -hmm. pull it out it's mm -hmm. it stays there it and it's and right that's there. still staying there yeah. it's not you know what i mean it's not falling down. yeah so i've I really like this, you know, because my whole thing was the bulkness, and this is so slim, mm -hmm. and there's no extra, you know, clips or anything like that, or yeah. straps or buckles, yeah. and that's just it. This is, this, for me, for, I mean, I only have one gun, and, and if I want, if I'm only going to have one gun right now, mm -hmm. I want it to be able to do everything I need, which is concealing and yeah. home protection and stuff, and so... So with this, I felt like this was the way to go all around. And I've had this now for about seven or eight months, something like that. So the variety of Remora holster there, and they do make a wide variety of them. This is the one for that particular gun. But more than that, this is the one that they call Remora Hide. And take the, go ahead and take your SIG out of there. And let's look at the inside of it, if we can. You can just see there the color of leather, because it's actually got some cowhide, I believe, inside of that, stitched into it. Now that's different from my Remora holster. I'll grab mine real quick. Mine's actually got the, I think it's a sort of oh, a nylon. Yeah. He has some nylon and nylon neoprene kind of material. Neoprene nylon or something. And how's that been working for you? Have you, I mean, I guess you, you enjoy carrying it. You yeah, it feels. I do a lot. I, and I remember seeing yours and using yours for a, for a day mm -hmm. and with the Glock I had, and I thought that was great. And that's, that's what, what, you know, when I downgraded, when I changed the size mm -hmm. and stuff, I wanted to keep that kind of a case and this one I was lucky enough for you to get for me and this one's been really awesome. Well, I, really, I think, really like this. I think some of the differences we see with the two different uh, Remora holsters, well, well this one has a sort of a padded uh, neoprene-ish, I'm not sure, right. mm -hmm. synthetic. Um, this one has got that leather and one of the things that that gives you, what that affords you is a much thinner profile. Well, yeah. I, I don't know if I'd say much, but it is thinner than yeah, the, the, it is padded, thinner. the padded material here. Yeah. And it also, you can tell just by looking at the two, Turn yours in the light so that we can see all the detail of how yours has, has um, imprinted. Uh, your gun is imprinted inside of that case. Right. It's really clear that uh, that leather is just completely forming itself around your gun. Exactly. Um, making it really great for concealment and probably retention as well. 
means your gun is going to stay inside that holster. Probably even if you were to stick it in there and then shake it upside sure. down briefly, <laughs> it'd probably stay in there. So that's really cool. I like what Remora's done with that new sort of Remora hide feature. And uh, I don't know, man. If I were to do it over again, I might have gotten a Remora hide for mine. I might even get one for myself down the road. I still love the one, the standard Remora. I don't think you can go wrong with it, but that new Remora hide one is pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, it's been awesome. Well, cool. We're going to take some shots with uh, that SIG today. Try out some, maybe some draw and shoot drills or something. I'll, I'll walk you through some stuff. We'll go slowly, and yeah. nice and slow and easy. We're going to try out the holsters, try out the gun. Right on, let's do it. All right, one, two, three.